After all the television ads, the debates, the campaigns, ballots are arriving and voters across Oregon finally get their chance to make their choices from the president all the way down to local measures for each town and city. A welcome everyone to Coin 6 News at 5 o'clock. I'm Jeff Giannola. And I'm Elizabeth Din. Now ballots did go out in the mail yesterday. Already people are turning them in today. Hey, let's show you this live look at the Multnomah County Elections Office. And right there, an official ballot box. No one right there right now, but we can tell you people have been coming and going, of course. Yeah, our Lindsay Nadrid spoke to the Director of Elections for Multnomah County about why you should vote early, if you can, and how to track your ballot. If you haven't already received your ballot, you should expect to see it show up in the mail by the end of the week. Just be patient. They're coming in the next couple days. If you don't have it by the 21st, call your local elections office. Once you get it, you're encouraged to vote as soon as you can. People already started dropping them off today, but they expect to see big returns by mail tomorrow and Saturday. I was just outside and I was seeing a steady stream of cars dropping up out of our, in our ballot box outside here. Tim Scott, the Multnomah County Director of Elections, says they're trying to avoid large crowds at the elections offices because of the pandemic. So they're asking people to take them to their closest drop site or put them in the mail. There's no, no reason that you would need to bring it here. All of our uh, drop sites are totally secure as well as the post office will get it here if you want to return it by mail. The elections office can't start counting the votes just yet, but they can start pre-processing the ballots to make sure the signature on the envelope matches what's on file. That's another reason to vote a little earlier. If there's any trouble with your ballot, if you forget to sign the envelope, we have more time to work through those issues before it gets really close to election day. If there's a problem with your signature, they'll mail you a letter to let you know. You then have until 14 days after the election to fix the issue. But if you don't want to wait for the letter, you can use the Secretary of State's website to track your ballot. You just have to put in your name and birth date to find out where it's at. If you live in Multnomah or Marion counties, you can even sign up to get text alerts about your ballot. They'll notify you when it's been mailed, received, and if it's been accepted or challenged. I think we saw a spike of 5,000 voters sign up for ballot tracking just in one day yesterday when people started getting their ballots. If you want to track your ballot, we have those links on coin.com. I'm Lindsay Nadrich, Coin 6 News.